trade has come a long way in the 20 years since the fair trademark first appeared on our shelves. And now most people know something about fair trade. Fair trade is a way of buying a product where you can guarantee that the farmer will have been given a fair price. Well, someone's getting a good deal at the other end, they're not being sort of exploited. Fair trade offers more to the farmers, that's about it. But as well as fair prices, premiums for community investment, and good working conditions, fewer people are aware that fair trade is also good for the environment. I didn't know that, no. It was more to do with um, trying to reduce exploitation, really. That's an extra benefit I didn't know about, so, yeah, it probably encouraged me to get more fair trade products. Did you know, for example, that fair trade as an organisation helps producers achieve certain environmental standards as a requirement before achieving certification? These standards do a number of things. We have, for example, a list, if you like, the dirty dozen that are not allowed, the agrochemicals that are not allowed at all. And then on the other ones, it's all about making sure that the farmers are safe in their, how they use them, uh, that they're properly stored away carefully, and that the organisation is moving towards good agricultural practice. We also really encourage farmers to go organic. And in fact, 55% uh, of the smallholder organisations in fair trade at the moment are also now organic certified. And obviously that's good for the environment. And farmers very often say that uh, coming into fair trade, one of the greatest benefits has been they feel healthier. But what it also means, of course, if farmers go organic, they can earn yet a higher premium along with fair trade. So there's an economic benefit there too. Desde el momento en que nosotros hemos tratado de certificarnos con el comercio justo. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene sus cuatro criterios que nosotros manejamos. La base económica, la base social, el medio ambiente y el trabajo. Reaching the standards can seem like a challenge, but every step of the way the producers are supported. Para estos programas, para nosotros es mejor, porque sabemos que todo programa que viene a favor de nuestra agricultura y a favor de, nuestro, de nosotros es lo mejor para, nuestra, para nosotros y para nuestra familia y para nuestros niños. Climate change is already affecting farmers in the poorest countries, those who have done the least to cause the problem in the first place. Está lloviendo, hay demasiada lluvia aquí en esta zona y en toda la zona de Pangoa. Es por el cambio del clima, es porque está afectado el medio ambiente. Esas es son las consecuencias del cambio climático. The climate change has affected the tea farmer greatly. But I also believe this can be reversed. Coffee, for example, is particularly vulnerable to temperature change. A one degree increase in temperature affects the quality. Two degrees and the yield is reduced. And if the temperature rises by three degrees, the coffee bush struggles to survive. Fair trade is a new and interesting perspective on ecology, and certainly the word fair has an ecological perspective. Fair, in that sense, means the equitable use of natural resources, the sustainable use of natural resources. It cannot be fair socially if it is not fair ecologically. So fair trade is providing advice and support and training in climate change adaptation ideas. Risk in agriculture has really amplified. One of the things that we are looking at is income diversification and biodiversity promotion. We've got uh, a producer supports and services team that is constantly out there. They are talking to the producers about their issues. They're being encouraged, for example, to use energy efficient uh, fuel stoves. Um, and they're being trained generally on the different ways that they can um, adapt and uh, mitigate uh, climate change. Some of us have even gone to an extent of uh, constructing uh, other sources of energy other than firewood. For example, uh, here I have a biogas plant which is helping us in a big way to conserve trees in this home. There's a lot of talk about shopping local and buying locally produced goods. Of course, it's good for the local economy and can have a beneficial impact on your personal carbon footprint. But it's not always as simple as that. The distance a product has travelled doesn't equal its carbon footprint. For example, sugar beet grown in the EU often has a higher carbon footprint than sugarcane from Malawi because of the way they are grown and transported. 
Fair trade goods are nearly all grown in natural sunlight and shipped to the UK. Well, I see fair trade and buy local as two sides of the same coin. You might, for example, want to buy your wonderful Somerset Brie locally, or you might want to buy your lamb or your beef or your milk locally. But really, we don't grow very much coffee, tea or bananas in Bristol. So at that point, obviously, you can go to fair trade, which is, if you like, a global version of buy local, because so much of fair trade is about buying more directly from the farmers themselves. And so I absolutely think the two come together because both of them are about trying to put people back into trade and to take out the anonymous domination of vast multinational companies and to try to bring people who grow our food closer to those of us who are consuming it. So, how green is fair trade? Well, a truly sustainable solution has to be socially, economically and environmentally sensitive. And fair trade is all of these. And Bristol is leading the way. The city was one of the first 100 to be granted fair trade status and also proudly carries the flag as European green capital. Now it's using that experience to inspire and motivate others while continuing to learn. While sustainability is about making a good healthy city, it is also about making a good healthy world. When we realise that every cup of coffee that we drink can make a difference to someone else, that makes it real to us. 